down in Stockton was yeah. mauled to death by a dog there. And next month is actually National Dog Bite Prevention Month. And with that in mind, we thought we'd check in with our mobile vet, Dr. Jill, with some safety pointers and some ways that we can prevent ourselves from being attacked by a dog. Hi, Dr. Jill. Hi, Bethany. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so uh, first of all, what do people need to know before uh, approaching any kind of animal? Well, you know, I always tell people don't make direct eye contact with them. You know, you do that and you're going to frighten the animal right off the bat. So make sure to approach them cautiously, slowly, and don't go jumping over their fence into their yard. That's, that's the number one thing I want to make sure that people understand. The woman that was attacked went into an animal's area that was protecting its home. Right, and so if a dog is feeling threatened or if it's trying to protect its home or its owner, uh, it's going to get more aggressive, I would imagine. That is true, yes. I want to make sure, too, people know that pit bulls get capped on a lot. It's not just pit bulls. It's all dog breeds. It's the owner that's responsible. And you need to make sure if you get one of these breeds, you should understand the breed well before you purchase it. Make sure not to keep it around your children and don't approach it necessarily when it's eating. These are some of the easy tips that people can avoid having your, your, your I'm sorry, your uh, child or yourself uh, bitten. 4.7 million people are bitten every year in the United States by dogs and a lot of them can be avoided just from easy training. There are no bad dogs, just bad owners. And on that topic, you were talking about breeds and pit bulls getting a bad reputation. Should somebody who maybe is going to interact with a dog, and you just mentioned don't, don't scare them, don't go up to them, should they think of certain breeds as, as approached differently, or do you approach all dogs kind of the, the, the same way, uh, knowing the rules that you just mentioned? Right. You know, all breeds are different, but some have more propensity for aggression, or if you don't handle them as much, a lot of them will digress, and they're not trained as well. Look at this cute little pit bull, by the way. I mean, she's lovely. She was trained. This is Samantha's dog. Just a fantastic dog. Good with her baby. This dog gives baby kisses. But I want to make sure to reiterate, don't leave your pets unattended around your children. That's really important. Children can be part of the pack. And so the dog doesn't necessarily see it as one of the family members all the time, and they will correct their pack. So want to make sure to, to watch your kids, watch your dogs. Don't need to keep them together all the time. Dr. Jill, I see some one of the notes that we have in front of us. It says, don't run from a dog and scream. That's something that maybe you would think about uh, when encountering a bear or something like that. Don't run away. Don't act like you're prey. So that works in dogs as well, real, real briefly, right? Right, absolutely. Don't run because they will chase you down. If you stand strong, tighten your muscles and protect your vital organs, cover your neck and your face, cross your arms, get into a little ball. A lot of times they'll bounce right off of you if they're attacking. Yell and scream for help. Try to find an object to pry yourself in between them, but don't run. That's really important. All right, Dr. Jill, always great advice. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, you can visit her website, drjilljyl.com, or you can give her a call. You see the number there on your screen, 916-989-0738.